we do here is go back, 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 back. back. What's up guys, Adam Luce here. Welcome back to another video of Move My Fishing. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys step by step how to catch sand fleas and then take them home and blanch them. I know you guys have been waiting for this video. There's a lot of people that ask me. Me and Joey filmed a video pretty similar to this, but I didn't really give detailed explanation. So today, that's what we're gonna be doing. Let's dive right into the video. All right guys, so I see the sand fleas right there. See them? Wait for the wave to walk out. There's Sam right here. That's it, right there in the sand. We're gonna wait for another wave to come in and then wash back down and then we're gonna get a good rake on it. Ready? These ones are really little. All right guys, so this is pretty much what they do. They get in wet sand like this and when a wave goes out, they dig their bodies into the sand just like that and their little antenna stick up and that's what you see making that little V-shape in the water. It's really cool, they're great, they're overall great baits. Pompano, whiting, croakers, snook, redfish, anything in the surf, you name it, fish are gonna eat them. They use these little two fins back here, these little swimmers, to swim around the tank. You probably saw that next video. And then this is what they use, these little legs back here to get into the sand, watch. That's so sick. Well, you know, people say to me, now Adam, you showed us how you catch sand fleas, but I wanna know what to look for when I'm at the beach, what beach to go to. And me personally, my experience catching sand fleas, the best way to catch them and the best way to find them is, first of all, the sand has to be natural. The sand has to come from the area you're at. If you go to a beach where they just dredge sand onto that beach, I, I guarantee you nine times out of 10, there's not gonna be sand fleas on that beach because they want the natural sand. They want what's usually there. They're eating nutrients in the sand and the nutrients doesn't come from that artificial sand from a different beach. So really, what I like to look for is this right here. Look, I'm looking at plenty of sand fleas in front of me. There's a lot. So a wave comes in just like this, a big trough, and then right when it pushes out, just like that. There they are. Sand fleas right here, right there. But a really big wave holds a lot. Like, let me show you. Let me wait for a good wave. All right, a wave like this. This is what you're looking for, a big trough. You usually sit in the middle of that. What do you know, they're right there. All right, guys, we got enough sand fleas. I'm not trying to get a lot today. I'm just getting enough to show you guys how to catch them and how to blanch them. Super simple. We're gonna load everything in the car and I'll meet you guys back at the house. All right, guys, so I just got this pot right here. It's just filled up to the top with regular room temperature water. Same with this bucket right here, five gallon bucket. What we are going to do right now is we're gonna walk over to the freezer and grab some ice to throw in that bucket. The reason we're putting ice in there is because after I boil them, we throw them into ice for a minute and it hardens that meat and when you wanna put the hook on there, the shell doesn't crack and it also conserves the meat for longer when you're trying to keep it in the freezer. Dump all that ice in there, that'll be good. We don't have a lot, just a couple. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead now and get this pot to a boil. So pretty much, I'm just gonna turn that Johnson all the way up to full. Now we wait, it takes a while, so see it back. That was quick. All right, water's out of boil now. Let's grab these sand fleas with this little scooper I have and throw them in a strainer. All the sand is gonna go to the bottom of the pan so it's not gonna be on my baits. All right guys, see how they're lively right now to move around? The second I put it in there, they're, they're done, so I'll just wait. Yeah, they don't, they don't stand a chance in there. All right, so what I'm looking for right now, see how they're starting to get pink like that? I'm looking for a consistent pink in all the sand fleas. I say I leave it in there about 30, 40 seconds, 
If you leave it in there over a minute, it's gonna, it's just gonna soften the meat. So it would just be pointless in doing this entire procedure. You gotta be really precise when you're doing this. And it, let me tell you something, it smells absolutely awful. Like my mom hates when I do this in the kitchen. I'm sure you guys know. All right guys, just like that, I know my sand fleas are done because they're all consistently the same color. I'm gonna shake all this water out. Try not to spill it anywhere. Ready, Dan? Into the cold water it goes. Now I'm gonna leave it in this water for about a minute. Then I will get all the water off the sand fleas and we're gonna bag them up. Also, I forgot to tell you guys on the beach, the moon has a lot to do with catching sand fleas. Today, I caught them during the daytime, which you can catch them during the daytime, but let me tell you, sometimes I'll go at night and coming on or off the full moon, or even the night of the full moon, it's really, really good to do. Let me tell you, I went a couple nights ago, was on the full moon, and they're so packed and close together at night, I don't know what the moon has to do. Obviously it has something to do with it, but it just makes them so close together when I get a rake on them, I get like 50 or 60 at a time. So that's a tip I bet no one's telling you. All right guys, we just finished our first batch, so we're gonna go ahead and bag them up. Try and get all the water off that I can, but other than that, it's not too much of a big deal. Also, in case you didn't know, bonefish love these things. People wouldn't think so. Bonefish actually do live down here in South Florida on our beaches. People may not know, but we catch them all the time. When we're pompano fishing, we, we catch three or four at least a trip every time. I mean, they're all little ones, but still bonefish. All right, guys, first bag is done. Let's move on to the second batch. All right, guys, second bag's finished up there. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. We're growing tremendously quick. I'm super stoked about the channel. I have so much great content coming up. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that little bell next to the subscribe button to turn on post notifications so it will notify you when I post a new video. Also, go down to the comments below and you guys let me know if you've ever seen or caught sand fleas before. And let me know how many of you guys came over from Nick's channel. All right guys, that's all we got for this video. Moving weights out.